Hello YouTube, this is the Average Jeremy from JJ Gaming here with Shadow Hider. Today we have something interesting from Black Ops 2 to show you guys. Similar to our Joe just smacked these kids right out of the bat, but uh similar to our no kills domination win. We wanted to attempt another hard gameplay to get. So what we did here was we went to a game of headquarters and we attempted something called It's a Draw. This is where you play a game of headquarters and you don't cap yourselves and you don't let the other team cap. So basically what you're going to see here is the final score is going to be 0-0. Zero, zero, and uh, you're basically going to see 95% of our team dominate this game, really. Uh, I think almost all of our players had like 40 kills by the end of it. Uh, we all played really well together. I mean, it is a 15-minute game, so the kill totals will be higher. But uh, we all played really well here, so uh, it was a lot of fun to do and whatnot. But um, really, we just did great. Joe gets a really nice thing in here, a really nice clip. You're going to see it was in our mini Taj and our montage, the five-man MCC. He gets it in this game. So that's why we're going to be showing his point of view in this uh, commentary. So basically, I'm just going to give it to him, and he's going to tell you what he thinks of the game and whatnot. So Headquarters uh, is a game game type that's been around for ever. It's been around since, uh, I believe, Call of Duty 2, if I'm not mistaken. But I know it was in Call of Duty 4, so about six or seven years. And uh, I've always been on and off about the game. Uh, I played it some in World at War uh, back in 2008. Um, and then I never really played it until uh, now in Black Ops 2. I, oh, well, now that Ghost is out. But Black Ops 2, I, I kind of played it a little bit. Not much, but... We, we got this really great idea from uh, a friend named Waylon, and uh, he was in this game as well. And um, he gave us this idea. He said, you know, he saw that our idea of um, the no-kill domination win, which was a very, very popular and very uh, accomplishing task to uh, achieve. And uh, everybody everybody thought it was a really cool thing, and uh, it was fun to, to, to obtain. And uh, I feel like everybody just loves watching that stuff. Look at me die by a shock charge. Isn't that horrible? But uh, anyways, it was it was a really fun, thrilling game. People uh, people on our team would walk through the the capturing the of the headquarters, and literally everybody would be like, "Oh my God, get out of the headquarters!" It was such a frantic game, and it was just not that it wasn't uh, organized, but it was just it's just a stressing thing. Nobody wanted it to get capped. Nobody wanted any points, you know. So it was a really stressing game overall. Now moving on towards the mini Taj and the montage kind of mixed in there. Um, we had issues uh, noticing how the mini Taj and the montage came out uh, just a few days ago. Um, it came out late compared to the other Taj's that have been on track. They've been on track one month at a time, after a month, you know, and uh, we've been a little late. We had a little issue with uh, editing. Um, we had an editor, but he, he couldn't actually edit it, so we had an issue with that, and that kind of put us off. But uh, now the now the montage is out. Hopefully the next montage won't be uh, so hard to get out. And uh, Jeremy's going to tell you about a great montage we're going to have after the next montage. Uh, yeah, basically what we're going to do is we're going to have one more montage, our uh, uh, March montage, February, whatever it's going to be. Uh, obviously, this montage being held back is going to kind of mess with the next one and on with. But uh, after we release the next one, what we plan on doing is basically like a best of winter type thing. We're going to take like all our clips from the last montage and maybe a couple new ones if we get some really good ones. And we're going to do like a best of type thing of taking all the great clips we have and just throwing them together. If you guys want to like mention any of the clips you really liked in the comments section, like uh I don't know, I mean, Joe had a, a triple headshot with the, uh, the SVU that you saw in the last one. There's been a lot of good clips, so if you just want to shout one out, say, oh, throw this one in. We'll, we'll definitely be uh, happy to throw it on with whatever it is. But uh, that's what we're going to be doing with that. Once again, we apologize for the montage and montage being so late just because we had the editor problems. I mean, uh, the weather's been really bad. We've been living snow-wise, so uh, it's been kind of hard to uh, get everything from there. That hasn't exactly helped us. So uh, we apologize for that. We're just happy it's out. Uh, we can re-upload it if you want. We know the quality is kind of not that great on it. We're trying to figure out something that's wrong with our uh, the transfer uh, software we've been using. So if you guys want us to re-upload it and try to get it in a better quality, we'll definitely be willing to, but we're not going to re-upload it unless uh, you guys are saying that you really want to see a newer version of it. But uh, other than that, be ready to see the next one, and then you're going to see a uh, best of after that. Uh, also, moving on, I'm going to talk a little about Call of Duty Ghosts here. I'm going to let Joe tell you about... Uh, what we're going to be doing with that. So, <laughs> Call of Duty Ghost. <laughs> a lot of people love or hate it. 
we don't like it. <laughs> Flat out, we're not fans of Call of Duty Ghosts at all. There's an, a, a, a large, numerous amount of, of lack of Call of Duty Ghost gameplays, and that's just because we're, we're trying, guys. Like, it's... It, we just don't like it, like, flat out. Um, you can't expect to see too much pubs from us in, in that game. Like, we're gonna try, obviously. Maybe we'll try and do some challenges. Please comment down below any, you know, games you'd like to see. If, if you wanna, you know, if you wanna see something in Ghost. We can't do the, um, no-kill domination, because you can't get riot shields in that. And, I mean, that'd be really hard if we did it without only a knife. That would be a very, very hard task to accomplish, especially because you die so quickly. But, I mean, it's it's something to consider. Uh, just, if everybody, you know, if, if you want to see a gameplay, please let us know. We're, we look at the comments. We're going to see, you know, like, we, we just want to satisfy people. We want to get challenged with a good game. Um, should expect to see um, a no-reload free-for-all. I know we talked about that in a different video. But a no-reload re free-for-all in Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm sure I can accomplish that and I'll get one. Um, maybe we'll do um, a gun game soon on Ghost, stuff like that. I know Jeremy likes to hunt it, I don't like it, but he likes it so he may get a gameplay in that. But what you're mainly going to be seeing from us is some Ghost League play um, whenever we do good in League play because League play takes out all the stuff we dislike really strongly about Ghost, and well most of it at least, uh, and basically makes it a more fun experience for us. So. I mean that's what we gotta deal with. We can't we can't keep playing a game that we just dislike strongly like we can't. But going on to Jeremy, he's gonna rant about the game. <laughs> this game makes me want to just injure myself in a multitude of ways. First off, I want to say in our first like opinion video on Ghost, I, I sugarcoated it. I, I gave credit to some of the things. Uh, yeah, the connection's good or whatever it is. The sniping's good or whatever. This game is horrendous. I'm gonna tell you right now. I, the only reason why I play this game is because I know some of you guys want to see this, but I, I cannot stand this game. The marksman rifles is, is, is stupid. You can put a thermal on it, and you basically get a red dot too. So it's like, I, not only am I gonna snipe you from across the map, but I can kill you from 20 feet too. Also in this game that I cannot stand, the IEDs. What, what are you thinking? Obviously, you can see we were, we were doing really good in this game. But uh, the IEDs, what what is that? I just want to know. Another other thing's wrong. One of the perks, wiretap. You can you can use every satcom on on the map. So basically, all you have to do is if you're playing free for all. If you run off the, off the grid and wiretap, not only do you get every satcom, but you use every satcom and you can hide from them. What? What is wrong with that? It's oh, I don't even. T tell them about your favorite part, the knifing. You guys remember back in the older Call of Duty when I had Commando? This is this this Modern Warfare 2, one of the worst games ever created in Call well, of Duty. Well, a lot of people like it. Don't offend them. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Call of Duty goes. You, I had moments where people have 360 turned me in, in Final Kill cams. I watch it and I just. I think I've thrown my controller across my room a couple of times. I'm surprised it's still working at this point. And the colors on it, if you're playing on the PS3, if you have a ghillie suit, you, you can sit in a shadow and no one will see you. If you're playing hardcore, you will never be found. It, it is horrendous. This this game, I sugarcoated it, but it is it is not my favorite game. It's probably my least favorite Call of Duty ever. I'll play for you guys, though. I, I played it all day today and uh, started 8 0 in one of these games, ended up dying from a guard dog. An IED, and then I got knifed. All three of my lives. I'm from 8-0 to 8-3, and basically broke my headset. I actually broke my headset playing this game. My he my headset is duct taped together because of this game. I have broken it. I need to cut him off right there because I'm afraid he might have an aneurysm on the spot. <laughs> He's literally shaking right now. So I mean, I'm not as hardcore about him. Oh, look at me hit that nice two piece while I'm injured, surviving. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, I'm not as hating on the game as, as he is, you know, like, there are still some people that like it, it's, you know, like, there's definitely been worse games, Killzone, <laughs> but, uh, you know, like, it, there's, I mean, it's just, the connection's cool, that's, that's great, it's good connection, and then there's, like, and then they took out theater mode, so you're just taking it out, but, right now, if you, if you do notice on the screen, it's six versus two, it was a six versus six the entire first half of the game or so, 
I think we're at the middle right now, or, or actually like three quarters of the way done, or two thirds. I don't know, around there. I would say two thirds. Anyways, um, right now it's a two v six. It's about a two v six for like a minute or two, and then it gets really intense again. Cause at first it was more intense, you know, but people weren't really jumping on it as much. Like they, they kind of were giving up on the objective. They were more just trying to get their KD or whatever, which they they failed at. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> considering everybody on our team had above forty kills, except for I think one. Didn't, but I mean, he was he was doing really well. Also, like we were all doing fantastic. But anyways, it goes back um, in about a minute. You should see all the people join back up, and uh, it goes to a really intense game. If Jeremy and I were not running frag grenades this entire game, it, it would have been we would have lost it. We wouldn't have gotten it. Cause like not that our other team wasn't helping, but they weren't throwing frag grenades, so they couldn't get the same range that we were. So you'll see later on soon that like literally from spawn, every time I spawned, I would throw, I would chuck a nade right to the objective, even if there was a player there or not. Like I would just chuck a nade there just so that I can save time, run to the objective, know I'm there, and know that there's nobody on it. That was just my main goal, like just keep everybody off of it. Nobody was to go on there. It was just ridiculous. It was so much fun. But once the six people got in there, it was ridiculous because their their team were really tired. Like like. They really wanted the objective so bad, so like to see to see them all join back in, you know, like our our small victory that we were already feeling was kind of shattered because we were like, I don't know if we're gonna be able to face these people because they looked like they were really into it. Um, I don't know, like it was it was a hard game, but we got it. So. Uh yeah, obviously uh, these guys. I think what happened was they joined in. They I think they saw what we were trying to do here because they noticed like we were captain, so they really were trying to. Uh, stop us from uh, doing whatever we were trying to do, but, um, yeah, but, uh, moving on, uh, we're going to talk about a new idea we're going to have, obviously, for any of you guys that have PlayStation Plus or have heard about it, uh, PlayStation Plus has come out with basically what Xbox did, where you get, uh, free games every month or so, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the free games we get, and we're just going to do a quick, like, review on it, post it, say, you know, we like this game, or we enjoyed playing this game. Or we maybe didn't like this game, or didn't enjoy playing this game. Uh, for the one we're going to do this month, for this month's games, uh, we're going to take a look at Payday 2, a game that we downloaded. Uh, we haven't had a chance to play it yet, but uh, we're going to be recording it soon, and then uh, playing with that, and we're going to work on that and all that stuff. Also, we're going to be looking at, that one's obviously for PS3, we're going to be looking at the PS4 games for it, which is uh, Resogun, Outlast, and Warframe. Uh, Resogun and Outlast, we've both played, uh, I think Joe touched, uh, Warframe briefly, but, uh, we haven't really got into that one as much, uh, but Resogun's really a, a fun game of mine, I think my top score is like 10 and a half million or something, Outlast is just not something I've really touched, I'm not a fan of scary games all that much, but, uh, Joe will tell you about Outlast and what he thinks of the PS4 games. As you just saw there, there was, uh, the five man. It just rewind like good 10 seconds. I got a really sweet five man that was on the montage. If you didn't see that already, um, Warframe, uh, I didn't touch too much on it, but I definitely, oh god, saving, saving the objective. It was so scary, but uh, yeah, the Warframe, like, I, I dived a little bit into it. Um, it seems kind of cool. It seems like you're an acro acrobatic person, and it seems like you know, you get like this cool sword and like. But I just got like confused at one spot. It just seems the ratings seem pretty good on it. So I mean, be sure to maybe see something. I don't know. If you guys really want to see Warframe, well, then there's probably gonna be a Warframe video. <laughs> but uh, moving on, I love Resogun. Resogun's sick. Uh, I've played a little bit more Outlast than Jeremy has, mainly because my cousin came over and is a really big fan of scary games. So like, was like, let's just play. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna sit here and cry behind the covers. But uh, hopefully soon, like I need to get a computer so I can, uh, so we can do a little bit more regular uploading. But if we get a face cam, we're just gonna do a face cam for Outlast. I mean, it would just be Jeremy would be uh, pooping his pants the entire game, and it would just be hilarious. So I mean, we're, we're probably gonna do a face cam for that game. Um, and uh, oh, expect to see some Battlefield. Um, we we're really into Battlefield. We might get the premium. I'm not sure yet, but. Um, we're probably gonna touch up on some Battlefield because Battlefield just seems like a fun game. We have fun, so maybe we'll get uh, an Elgato out soon and just try and get that going. But we just have computer issues at the very moment. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This game is basically wrapping up. Uh, we got we got this beautiful game. We nobody captured it, which 
was such a scary game. Look, I'm throwing more frag grenades. <laughs> it was ridiculous, but thank you for watching. Uh, like, favorite, subscribe, do your thing. Uh, this is, Jer this is uh, Joe. This is the average Jeremy. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.